Hi everyone, this is Brian Hayes. Today I want to focus on one of the most common and useful scales in music, the Dorian minor scale. Now, this is an easy scale to play because the notes come straight out of a major scale. And if you want to be a good musician, regardless of what instrument you play, you need to be a master of the 12 separate fingerings for the major scales on your instrument. If you know your major scales, you'll find that just about everything else in music is a derivative from those major scales. Now, I've got the notes up on the screen for an A Dorian minor scale. As you'll notice, the key signature has one sharp in it, F sharp. It looks like we're in the key of G because the Dorian minor is built off the second degree of a major scale. So the only major scale that has A as its second note is G major. Hence the quickest way to work out the notes of a Dorian minor scale is to take whatever the minor scale starting note is that you want to play, go down two semitones, down a tone, and use that as the key signature. So we want to play A Dorian minor, a down a tone, two semitones is G. We're in the key of G major as far as the key signature goes. Then it's just a matter of playing A to A of a G major scale. So you can play along with me after four. One, two, three. So that's A Dorian minor. Obviously today I'm demonstrating on the E flat alto saxophone. You'll just have to do the transposition if you're playing soprano or tenor or any of the B flat instruments. Now I think it's a really good idea whenever you learn a scale to learn some variations of that scale so that you can free your fingers up and let your mind be more creative when looking to play a melody. On the screen I've now got the A Dorian minor scale in thirds. And this simply means we play the first note of the scale, then the third note, then the second note of the scale, then the fourth note, then the third, then the fifth. We basically crab walk our way up the scale, but playing the first note, leave the second out, play the third. That's why they call this style of variation playing a scale in thirds. It's a great way to get your fingers coordinated and also to get away from just running up and down a ladder of notes. You can play along with me now if you want to on the A Dorian minor scale in thirds after four. One, two, three. The next step for that to be of any use to you is to understand that the Dorian minor scale fits perfectly with a minor chord and also with a 2-5 progression. So in E flat speak, in our key on the alto sax, if we were confronted with having to create a melody where there were eight bars of A minor as the harmony behind us, the scale we've just played is a great starting point. So imagine we've got a, a reasonably fast sort of contemporary sound in the background. One, two, three, four, like boom, boom, chop, boom, boom, that sort of a sound. It's great to now challenge yourself and say, can you create a melody from the notes of that scale? Here's one example. <laughs> Now, it's infinite, 
the number of melodies that you could create just using the seven notes out of the Dorian minor scale. So that's it in a nutshell. You work out what your starting note is. In other words, if you want to play a C Dorian minor scale, the key signature will be the major key one tone lower than C. So what would that be? C back a semitone is B, B back a semitone is B flat. So you would be in a key that has two flats, B flat and E flat. The harmony behind you would be a C minor chord and the 2-5 progression, C minor to F 7th or C minor 7th to F 7th, that's the traditional 2-5 progression, fits perfectly with that scale. Your notes in a C Dorian minor will be as what you see on the screen now. Hopefully you could have worked that out without needing to have the music put before you. So a C Dorian minor scale, a B flat major scale, starting and ending on a C. I hope you've enjoyed that. It's a really powerful scale. So master the Dorian minor scales and most importantly, be creative, play melodies. Learn the scale in thirds. That will open up your fingers and your mind to get away from just playing A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But put it to the test and start creating melodies. Bye for now.